Good evening. Welcome to St. Giles for our service of evening prayer on this the fifth Sunday of Trinity. Uh, it's lovely to have you with us um, this evening. Our service is very simple. Um, all the words will appear on the screen. Please do join with me in the responses and in the reading of the psalm. Jesus says, repent for the kingdom of heaven is close at hand. So let us turn from our sin and turn to Christ. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Come bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you that by night stand in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands towards the sanctuary and bless the Lord. The Lord who made heaven and earth give you blessing out of Zion. That this evening may be holy, good and peaceful. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us and cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise, now and forever. Amen. Our psalm for today is Psalm 91. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely he will save you from the foulest snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You'll not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, 10,000 at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you say the Lord is my refuge, and you'll make the Most High your dwelling. No harm will overtake you. No disaster will come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the cobra. You will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. I'll protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call on me and I will answer him. I'll be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honour him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. As ever, I'm grateful to St. Giles' Choir, who are now going to lead us in song. Praise Him, O creatures here below. Praise Him, O the heavenly 
join together in the words of the Magnificat. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He's looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Our reading for today is from Matthew. It's Matthew's Gospel, and it's Matthew chapter 16, and it's beginning at verse 1. The Pharisees and Sadducees came to Jesus and tested him by asking him to show them a sign from heaven. He replied, When evening comes, you say it will be fair weather, for the sky is red. And in the morning today it will be stormy, for the sky is red and overcast. You know how to interpret the appearance of the sky, but you cannot interpret the signs of the times. A wicked and adulterous generation looks for a sign, but none will be given it except the sign of Jonah. Jesus then left them and went away. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Amen. Now we're going to hear um, from John and Linda Blakely, who formerly were of St Luke's, known to many of us here at St Giles, and now they're at St Nick's, and they're going to um, expound God's word briefly for us. Hi there, I'm John. I'm Linda, and we are part of the staff team at St Nick's. It's great of you to join us today. Um, we're really excited about sharing God's word and praying together. So the scripture that we're looking at today is just from the start of Matthew chapter 16. And it's a, a portion of scripture where the Pharisees and Sadduce Sadducees try and catch Jesus out by asking him for a sign. And Jesus responds like this. You know how to interpret the appearance of the sky, but you cannot interpret the signs of the times. This scripture has been really challenging both of us in this season as we have been chatting and reflecting about what does it mean to watch for the signs of God in this season. Um, it strikes me that society often tries to numb our feelings or distract us from things, um, whereas as Christians we are really called to stop um, to discern what is happening in the world around and to really listen for what is God's will. Where is God calling us to journey with people who are really suffering and mourning in this season? Where are we seeing signs of God's activity that is fresh and perhaps giving us a new chance to join in with what God's spirit is doing? Yes, and this image, of course, of watchers or watchmen watching for a sign is really important. Um, I wonder whether or not we are watching uh, to the fullest extent of our ability. Are we uh, like those um, people that would have been watching on the walls of an ancient city, constantly vigilant for the sign of God's kingdom and God's creation breaking through? I think it's an exciting opportunity and uh, one of the things that we um, one of the things that we're called to do as leaders is to watch out for the signs of God's kingdom. Where could that be happening on your street, uh, in your church community, um, perhaps in the wider world? What is God doing amongst us at this time? Hmm. So I wonder uh, what God is saying to you today about the signs of the times. Perhaps you could take a moment to personally reflect on the scripture that John shared. But let's pray together. 
Lord, we thank you that your spirit is with us, that you are working in this season. Lord, help us to say no to distractions. Help us to choose to take time to stop, to watch. Where are you at work? Where are you calling us to join in with your activity in Nottingham today? Mm. Lord, teach us how to stand with those who are mourning or suffering in isolation. Teach us how to grow in unity in this season, to encourage each other as we listen to you and as we discern together what is it that you are saying to us as individuals and as a church in this season? Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us and we really will be praying a continuation of God's blessing on you today as you take time to stop, to discern what is going in the world around you and to really listen to what is God's will? Where is he calling you today? Thank you. Bye for now. Continue now with our intercessions. These will be responsive. Um, when I say the words, Lord, in your mercy, please respond. Hear our prayer. In peace, let us pray to Jesus, our Lord, whoever lives to make intercession for us. Saviour of the world. Be present in all places of suffering, violence and pain, and bring hope even in the darkest night. Inspire us to continue your work of reconciliation today. Empowered by your spirit, all Christian people, we pray especially today for members of St Giles. Lord, give us the grace to proclaim the gospel joyfully in word and deed. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Shepherd and guardian of our souls, guide and enable all who lead and serve this community and those on whom we depend for our daily needs. We pray for today. We pray today for the leaders of Rushcliffe and Nottingham Councils. Grant that they and we may seek the peace and welfare of our community. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Great physician, stretch out your hand to bring comfort, wholeness and peace to all who suffer in body, mind or spirit. Fill us with compassion that we may be channels of your healing love. Take a moment to pray for those known to us who are in need at this time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Conqueror of death, we remember for good those whom we love but see no longer. Help us to live each day and every day in the sure and certain hope of your eternal victory over sin and death. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Once again, the choir are going to lead us in song. Oh,
continue with the collect for today, the fifth Sunday of Trinity. Grant, O Lord, we beseech thee, that the course of this world may be so peaceably ordered by thy governance, that thy church may joyfully serve thee in all godly quietness. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And the collect for the evening. O God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works do proceed, give unto thy servants that peace which the world cannot give, that both our hearts may be set to obey thy commandments, and also that by thee, we being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness. Through the merits of Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Amen. Now the collect for protection. Lighten our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy, defend us from all perils and dangers of this night, for the love of thy only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's close by saying the grace together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. Amen.